This is an intro to the basics of physics. First off, we're going to start out and go over to the layers palette here and create a new group. I'm going to double click this group and I'm going to call it physics group. And then I'm going to click on the physics tab and enable physics. I'm going to leave the defaults as they are, direction and magnitude. Click OK. I'm going to take my, my default vector layer that was here, layer 1, and I'm going to drag it into this layers group. Now I'm going to double click this layer and call it ground and click on the physics tab here. Now you notice physics is enabled um, and that's because I had put it into the physics group. But what I want to do here is just click non-moving object. I want the ground to not move, to not fall and be affected by the gravity. I'm not going to mess with any of the other features here. We'll get into those uh, in other videos. Click OK. Now, there is no ground, so I'm going to go up to the Draw Shape tool. Leave the, I just have the default selected here and draw out a rectangle. And there we have a ground plane. Now I'm going to go over to Layers Palette and create a new vector layer and I'm going to draw a red ball on this layer and now I'm gonna double click that layer and just label it ball click on physics notice physics is, is enabled um, I'm gonna leave the defaults here uh, alone but um, one thing you can do with the ball is mess with the density and the springiness to have it bounce more or less. Now if I just click um, play down here you'll see the ball bounce off the ground plane. That is the basics of getting some physics started in your scene.